Good morning, Belzer. I'm Christian. And I'm Martin. And Christian, you sound like a duck sometimes. Thank you. We are your anchors for Tuesday, May 15th. Please stand for the pledge. Today is National Chocolate Chip Day and a silent reading day. A new edition of the Belcher blog is available on your lunch page. Our lunch options for today are home sour rotation chicken and noodles and country chicken bowl. Our size today are mashed potatoes and green beans. In Canada, mysterious dismem dismembered feet keep washing up on shores. All being inside shoes, some feet were identified while some are still a mystery. Officials don't know if they're all connected or gruesome coincidences and don't even know how they got there going to prom? Well, you may want to skip this one. In Christopher Columbus High School, someone brought a live caged tiger to the prom to match the theme of Welcome to the Jungle. No one was in danger, but the tiger was rather pressured when it first arrived. Animal cruelty was on display at this dance when it also came to light that a live macaw and lemur were being used as props as well as a fennec fox in a small exhibit. The school didn't reveal where the animals came from. The Kaluau volcano has been pouring lava for the last 10 days, making more 1,000 people flee their homes. The lava moves every day closer to the ocean, setting trees um, on fire and destroying homes as it puts more people in danger. More tourists have been going to the island to catch glimpses of lava as it continues spreading through the island. Why would you go towards danger? Now to Christian and Dante with the sports and weather. Thank you, Anchor. Over the summer, Belzer is hosting summer camps for sports. The following camps take place during June. Football, volleyball, girls soccer, golf, boys baseball, girls and boys basketball, and swimming and diving. Track the, invi track the invitational they had last night resulted in the boys coming third and the girls taking second. The girls 4x100 also lowered the school record they set a couple of weeks ago. Today, 7th grade baseball has a home game. Girls who have or want to play basketball are invited to an open gym at LC Sports every Monday from Wednesday until the end of the year. Current 8th graders who wish to play football next year are invited to attend agility training Tuesdays at 7 a.m. at LC. Now for the weather. The forecast for today will be partly cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 62. Now back to anchors. Thanks, me and Dante. Yesterday was the last day for after-school clubs. There are no clubs next week. If you are a former Indian Creek student or are interested in doing some volunteer work, Indian Creek is looking for volunteers for their spring fling celebration. On May 18th, volunteers will help manage games and help serve cotton candy and popcorn. You would earn service hours for your help. To volunteer, please uh, contact Drabe at msn.com. That's D-B-R-A-B-E at msn.com. All library books that are checked out are due Friday, May 18th. Wait a minute, that's the same day as the spring fling. The LC Color Guard is having one last call out tonight from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Enter through door 9 at LC. You say this. On this day in history, in 1940, the first McDonald's opens up in San Bernardino. The celebrity birthday for today is Ray Lewis, who played for the Ravens and is turning 43. A random fact of the day is that Jimi Hendrix was the highest paid artist at Woodstock in 1969. Now to Mr. Harsha with the rest of your morning announcements. Have a great day, Bruins. Good morning, Bruins. Uh, just a quick reminder that today is Tuesday, which is a silent reading day, and the Belzer blog is available, so if you've not checked it out, please do so. Also, I just want to give a reminder, students, that we, uh, I told you this a couple weeks ago, and I'm going to tell you again, um, we are going to keep expectations in this building at a very high level all the way through the end of the school year. Yesterday, there were a, an increasing number of tardies to class. Students, I know sometimes as we get to this part of the year, it can be tough to keep focused, um, to keep your 
uh, levels of performance up at a high level, but we need to make sure that we are working hard, remaining focused, making good choices. We will continue to hold students accountable and assign consequences as needed for tardies. So please make it your priority to get to your classes on time. When you get to class on time, you get in there, you get your things prepared, you can start class at the beginning, you don't miss any important information, you're showing respect to your teacher and to your other classmates. So let's please work on making that a priority from here on out and understand if you don't do that, if you don't meet that expectation, you will be suffering the consequences that come along with those choices. So please keep that in mind. Um, congrats to our, all of our track athletes and coaches for a great job last night. Uh, let's make it a great week.